as uh, two of them. One of them comes running up to uh, Kronk, and the one that just crawled over the thing is coming straight at you, VR. What do you do? What, is the one, as the toad kind of jumped away? Uh, yeah, the toad, the toad did the fuck out. Okay. Uh, it actually looks like it's down this way. But you'll um, have to, you'll have to find it after. Right, Kronk, front and center. It's like I got that. one to, I got one to deal with on my own. Yeah, I know I got this one. Best of luck. Um, oh, it's gonna be tough. I guess I'll use my, my new, newly unlocked technique again. Is is there any part of the beast which is fleshy? Everything. The underbelly. The underbelly. Everything. Everything is covered in those spines. Yeah, for the most part. Okay. So looking across the creature, I look in horror at the form for me, and I kind of just like, "What the hell are you? Can it speak?" Uh, it probably can, although I wouldn't recommend tr trying. It looks like it'd rather eat your face off. Answer me. Who are you? It, like it like stops like it's surprised that you're talking like really? What? Tell me your name. Why are you sacking the ship? Because we're hungry. Hungry. So you devour human flesh. You devour flesh. everything. So who do you serve? You speak our language. He's he's just absolutely amazed at you. Like, like can't believe that you're you're taking the time to talk to him. He's like, um, I'm gonna try to eat you now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> God, you're gonna try and eat me, really? Yes. You don't want to talk diplomacy. Well, um... You put the lance down right now. We can talk a deal. <laughs> oh, God. You're, uh, <laughs> you're a lot tastier in my mouth than out of it. So, I'm just going to try to eat you now. And he, he kind of leads in for it to attack you. God dang. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go for a... I, I'm going to try and... Uh, yeah, hit it, hit it upside the head one more time. Well, you asked for it. Didn't have to be this way. We could have been friends. Good no, God, God damn it! God it damn it! Seems as if this day you're done. Oh, you're get numbered. me, get it. You have a speech. They <laughs> <laughs> are. They are your. They are your adorable. <laughs> ten out of ten made me reply. Yep. <laughs> now it appears. Well, he tried. He tried. See my magic. <laughs> well, we can see it. Where are you? Where are you casting? Oh, he's gonna cast polymorph again. Which of those do you choose, VR? Hmm. I think the uh the unwanted attention. Okay. So in a flash this one is replaced by by what? A toad again? Sheep. A sheep this time. Yep. A All nice right. juicy sheep. <laughs> nice juicy sheep. All right, all right, that's cool. That's cool. It's it's a pretty dumb sheep. However, the one that you had polymorphed earlier into a toad comes back. Spell war off. Yes. This isn't good. Hycorax. Yes, Hycorax is uh, slowly getting surrounded. It seems. Yeah, when am I gonna needs... stop being surrounded and you know actually get to try right preventing now. it? <laughs> right now, we're 
I'm gonna uh, get to that. In my moment. opinion, in my opinion, when you get out of the way of those, probably you know, I, you know, you have you could jump there, you could you know take the rope, you could. That's true. What are you gonna do, sir? Well, the stairway is clear, so I'm just going down the stairs. Are you gonna try to run past them to the stairs? Well. Okay, so I don't get to do anything between them showing up and me killing the two that were on me. Well, they showed up pretty quickly afterwards. They're kind of all coming up as it happens. Okay, Halbert, it's... that one. Okay. Oh, well, that's a big surprise. Well, a big fucking surprise. 12, 12. Okay. Now, it's worth noting that the one immediately to the north of you is going to try to uh, try to attack you with his spear. What are you going to do? I'm just going to try kicking it overboard. Five damage plus your strength. Okay, give me a second. La, la, la. There we go. Eight. Now, you can kick it overboard, but uh, it's going to be able to uh, kind of graze your leg a little bit with the spear. Or... Or you can uh, you can just kind of kick it back a little bit up against the railing. I'll just kick it back a little bit then. Okay. Does it seem that kicking them overboard stops them for more than a few seconds anyway? Not particular. Well, not before they're replaced. Most of the ones you've kicked overboard so far have died because they were damaged when you did it, and they get torn apart very quickly. Okay. I just knock him back and prevent myself from getting whacked. Alright. Sounds good, sounds good. Now you guys you guys do not deal with these corpses as well. Uh Kronk manages to dispatch the one next to him, though, luckily. Hi Corax. Yeah. How are you gonna deal with this, you dirty boar? Which fool? Ping it for me. Oh, you're gonna hit this fool into his pal right here, right? I think that's what he meant. Alright, okay, good. And uh, deal damage for me. Clean up crew. Oh, good deal, yeah, good deal. So. The one you charge into, he gets gored very far back into the, the railing of the ship. He seems like he's almost on his last legs. The one you knocked him into, however, is uh, kind of goes flying over the railing and his, uh, his blood flying everywhere as he heads out into the water and uh, gets eaten. Eaten. May I remember? May I remember something we had at the start of the fight? Yes. Remember the huge piles of salt. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just going to throw that there. We should probably be using that on the blood. Well, who's the one that saw that? That would be Hypercrux. Yeah. Who is now a human? Uh, did he ever mention or, it? I'm sorry. Wait, now no, an what? elf. Now an elf. <laughs> yeah. Did Hypercrux ever mention that? He didn't. I don't yeah, think. so none of us knows that except him. Yep. Well, he knows it's valuable. He yeah. does know that the the barrels exist, but uh, we know it exists. He he's the only one that knows it's valuable. Yeah. The salt and fish usually don't get along together well. Now, it's Rin. Yes. You're in some uh, serious stuff right now. Uh, yeah, it's biting into my left hand. Um, okay. Uh, 
Can I? I guess I can still move my fingers. Yes. So I, so. Although I wouldn't, I would recommend pulling them out of his mouth as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh no! Real, no, uh, no, pet his tongue. Pet his tongue. Pet his tongue. Oh, uh, can I roll? Can I roll hack and slash first and let her say how I? Certainly. Oh. Go ahead. In four six. Oh, good. So I'll my 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 seven nine option was to smash it against something, but since I got a ten, I'll the phone. Remember the one James punch I hit Gallows with? Mm-hmm. I'm going to do that again into his inside his mouth. <laughs> inside. Okay. Go ahead and do your damage. Yes. One inch punch the back of his throat out. Yes. Bruce Lee would do. It's probably nice and fleshy inside as well. <laughs> well, fuck you! <laughs> I mean the die. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you got a good well, punch in on it. At least I managed to open his mouth. Yeah. That's probably good considering it's in his mouth. Uh, and you do have Krunk helping you. So, uh, actually, you get plus one damage. That's a four. Yes. Man. And the Saha again. You, you feel like you punched up into something very fleshy behind its teeth. And uh, it kind of drops. Oh, I want... Oh, you just punch no, it I in the brain. brain. I want each punch the, head, the brain, I guess. Uh, I want, If I roll high enough, I wanted to, you know, throw or something like that. But you can have everything. At, at least I have. Uh, at least I, I don't have anything biting into my hand, so I free my left hand. That's true. Now he's knocked out against the rail. Give me one moment. I'm just marking these for my benefit. Fuck you! There we go. Fuck! Sorry, it wouldn't wouldn't mark. Sable, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna buzz in, um, back over here, over Rin. Um, this one's against the deck, right? Yeah, he seems like he's on his last legs. Um. I'm sorry, this is a sheep. Let me mark that. He's a sheep. Thank you. This one's one's a sheep. This one's a sheep. Let's get the wing, wing icon of sheep. Um, I'm gonna go for, um, some forceful black magic to try to knock the, um, mostly out one, um, overboard. Alright. Preferably with the spray of blood. So just pick him off the, uh, rails here. Okay. And the 8 plus 1d4, forceful... Just bitch slap him with magic. Which is approximately what I do, is just kind of a backhanded just whack. Yeah, and it goes sailing off. And yes, there is a lot of blood all over the what place. What happened to the toad? You you he the magic wore off, remember? Oh yeah. I can only hold one at a time. That is correct. I mo throw the sheep overboard. They'll eat it. Don't throw the sheep! I yell it. Uh, uh, that, that was out of character. <laughs> that was a, out of character. Yes. Okay. Do you have that moment, uh, sir? Yes. There's one right at the right, leaning against the deck right now. You can probably spear him right through if you want. Okay, I guess I'll do that. Just go ahead and deal damage. I'm gonna put. It, I'm just gonna put it. Just put it to the deal damage showcase. I'm just gonna put it through its. Ah! Damn. Only a five. Nope. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Near minimum damage. Just one point shy of minimum damage. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. You, uh. 
You managed to stab him pretty good. However, it doesn't quite get as deep as you did in the other ones. This one uh, seems a little bit tougher, and he uh, he takes the halberd to the gut pretty admirably. As admirably as you can take a spear to the gut, halberd. I suppose. Okay. <laughs> but uh, he he seems like he's pretty he's pretty awake now. And he uh, he's going to be coming for you in the next few moments. Hi, Korax. This one is coming at you with a spear. What are you going to do? Alright, give me the uh, hack and slash roll. This is the first time Hycorax actually uses his spear. I don't think it's the first time, but it's it's very rare when he does. Yeah. The first He's, time, he usually just bears out and eats things. He did use it back in the capsules. Yeah. Well, that was a long time ago. It was like a week ago in game time. Um, week and a half, maybe two weeks. Actually, it was uh, seven days. I mean, six, six days. We spent. Uh... Oh no! Wait. Uh, uh, I guess we spent at least a uh, day at sea. So that would be eight days. <laughs> How long have we been at sea? I thought somebody threw around four days. Mid afternoon, second day. Mid afternoon, second day? Yeah. Alright, so you hit it with your spear. Go ahead and roll damage. Wow. Fucking rocking face with the damage dice tonight. Hopefully you can do it again on Saturday. Shit. Yeah, you spear this thing in the face pretty well. Um, wow. And he, uh, he, you get him right in his fleshy nose. He seems really fucking upset. And uh, you could probably hit him again and, and knock him down. Real easy. Nice, man. That's a good deal. Rin, what are you going to do? Okay, um... Let's see. What the, What is the last thing I saw? Um... There's a sheep standing by where VR is. Um... But, I mean, you're pretty... You're pretty banged up, I suppose. Um... You heard Hycorax trying to attack somebody. And there's a gurgling from behind you, obviously. Gurgling you from behind. feeling okay? Gurgling like the gurgling that okay. the saw can do. Okay, I guess I'm close to the spear in the mast. You are what? I am close to the mast, and thus, and thus I'm close to the spear, right? Sure, yeah. Okay, so I... I step up, grab the spear, and throw it at uh, this one, like a javelin. Give me that volley. Give me that dirty, dirty volley. Eight. Which of those do you want to choose? You got to move, placing yourself in a spot, or take what you can get. Minus 1d6 damage. 
minus 1d6 damage. Good call. Go ahead and roll damage dice for me. And then roll a 1d6. Good. Good. Wow. Very nice. Come on, follow it up. No. Bad. Four. Bad. No, you you kill the shit out of it. Then kill the shit Good. out of it. We'll say that the the spear enters its chest and it goes down pretty easily. It wasn't very uh, very strong at this point. No, I wanted to pierce its head, but okay. Ugh. I mean, you can pierce his head if you want. There's a lot more uh, armor in the way there, but... That's just me being gory, don't worry. No worries. And it dies. So, real quick, what are you guys... So, uh, with that, the sir... Yes? This one's coming at you with its very, very deep rows of endless teeth. What are you going to do? I'm going to halberd it in the face, as always. As always, go ahead and roll a uh, hack and slash for me. 12, oh, 11. Go ahead and, um, be, don't worry about it, you, you kill the shit out of it. You didn't, you probably, you actually didn't even need to roll damage on this one. <laughs> you, uh, you halberd it in the face so hard that it goes flying off the deck. Well, the top half of it does. Mm-hmm. Most of it does. Most of it. But uh, you're left with uh, a pair of fishman legs. There. My friends, we are victorious. Uh, yeah, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, what do you guys do with the bodies? Are you guys going to do anything with the bodies? Um, Tough. are they like clothed to any degree? No. Okay. Um, do their spears like stay intact? Oh yeah. Um, I'll wrap my hands in uh, whatever cloth or rope I can get a hand hold of and um, separate the spears. It's probably um, a good call. Yeah. All of the spears have the liquid on them. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I'll take those um, to the front of the ship over here. So, uh, what do you guys do with the actual bodies? So, guys, what do you want to do yeah. with the bodies? Should we throw them off the board? If you do, throw them out the back. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Uh, Sable, Rin, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, my left is kind of hurt, but I'm okay. I just say grabbing my left hand with my right hand. How bad are you, Rin? Uh, I can't. I'm fine. fine. This will heal naturally. Nice. No worry. You sure? Oh, you, you, you took a spit of the leg. It's not that yeah. bad. That was. Yeah. Uh, you you were hurt, Ren. I could mend you if you'd like. Uh, all right. All right. I... Do you accept? Yeah. Where are you grabbing me? Okay, I'm gonna. I don't have my gloves on since I've been. I'm not in my armor. Right. So I just go. Look where you're hurt. How bad does it look? Well, that's assuming she lets you look at where she's hurt. Yeah. Uh, I'm co- I'm just covering my left arm with my right arm. Just that, uh, I give you my shoulder so you can touch me there. Okay, so it's your arm that's hurt. Yep. Yeah. Let, that, me, let me look at let me look at the wound. It's mm. fine. It's not. Just very deep, just hurts. Let me just look at it so I know what I'm healing. Alright. Just bite marks. That's okay. all. So I take a look at it. Um, rest my hand I'm over. Still it. covering it. Okay, I try pulling your hand off. Come on. I do need to look at it. Why, why aren't you showing it? Is there an issue? <laughs> Peel your hand away. I just don't like it, okay? Uh, you, you I, can, uh, you it's at this point that a, that a kind of a clear and kind of familiar voice sounds out. It's like, what are you doing? And uh, turning around reveals Gallus looking at the two of you strangely. 
Rin was wounded. I'm trying to heal her, but she's being a bit shy about swinging her arm. Uh, can uh, you heal her from anywhere else? Well, I need to examine yes, he it. Could, he could grab my shoulder and uh, just heal me with spell and magic you're, thing. That's a different uh, um, ability of mine than what I need to do right now. I need to see it. And, uh, I'm into myself. Yeah. Then I myself later. Gallus will like uh, will kind of uh, put himself a little bit between the two of you. Like she'll let you look at it if she needs to. Uh, Rin. What, Rin, why are you being so shy about? It's just your arm. Rin, what the hell? We've just been attacked, man. Yeah, that's right. That's just my arm, and I'm going. And it's uh, just a flesh wound, so I'm going to. You don't know treat myself. <laughs> The, these, uh, you don't know what bacteria is growing in these things' uh, mouths. From the, from the top of the uh, ship, you guys hear a series of splashes, and uh, looking up shows uh, the first mate throwing over these things one-handed. Look, look Gallus, it's dangerous up here. What the hell do you think yeah. you're doing? Adric says, look, they're done. You guys have killed enough of them. As long as we throw them overboard... They'll be. Uh, they'll leave us alone. And where the hell were you when we were in that fight? Uh, repelling the ones that went straight in through the portholes. Right. Uh, they are. You do realize that we're the security team, right? We're not allowed to complain if. Uh, I think. I think this well, just come well away. Complain if my friends are getting hurt out here. Just have to refresh. I don't give a damn what are you? Well, uh, it looks like all of you came away with all your limbs intact, which is better than I can say I've ever had any Sahagen uh, attack go. It's good for you, Carl. Yeah, just... Well, maybe you could give us a heads up next time, asshole. <laughs> they are! Calm yourself. Um, it's good for you, Carl. Just end I video. did give you a heads up. I specifically said, come up to the deck, we're going to be attacked. You didn't mention Sahagin in these waters. Uh, really, you didn't know there's Sahagin in these waters? No! Actually, you should have. It is one thing that you omitted to tell us before we went aboard the ship. Um, now, that's, look, this is beside the point, but you did hear about Sahagin back in Godoran. Okay. We need our wounded downstairs... <laughs> getting treated okay and, enough of this and that's the plan i don't know where you get off coming onto my ship and telling me how to run it they are your ship they are <laughs> uh, sir grabs <laughs> sir just grabs <laughs> baby and starts dragging him oh what down the hall all right that's we're, we're sorry about i'm just gonna he's just seasick now we saved your useless ass and he's a bit eccentric <laughs> at times. <laughs> so, uh, as you, as you get dragging him. him down to the hole, you see that there are about uh, 30 Sahagin corpses scattered throughout the ship. Mm -hmm. okay, it seems like are. more than a few of them came through the ship directly. Mm. Okay, Vera. See all this? It looks like they had their hands full as well. So, no worries. And uh, actually... Uh, VR. You do notice specifically that there are a few people with blankets laid over them on the uh, on the third deck, right before the hold. How many? About three. I I point down and I say, "What what what is that?" It looks like uh, they suffered some losses. On One of the crew members says, uh, yeah, we uh, suffered some losses while you lot were up top. No, no. All right, fair. Come on. Just here. Let's find a spot where you sit back. I kind of I I pull away from Sermit. Just like this. No. No. This wasn't supposed to happen. Warned you before getting on the ship. <laughs> this happens. The sea is a dangerous place. Oh, come on, come on, Bear, there. Calm down. 
but shortly afterwards, uh, life on the ship kind of returns to normal. Um, some hasty repairs are affected for the uh, the thunking, which uh, you all can kind of see where where them trying to get into the ship directly. Um, there's a uh, they kind of toss the rest of the Sahagan corpses overboard. They say they're going to keep the uh, corpses of their crew members until they're out of these waters. And that they uh, deserve better than to be fed to the man sharks. Naturally. After a, uh, after a short amount of time at dinner that evening, uh, the captain makes a rare appearance. And uh, he kind of walks to the, the front of the galley and says... The three that died, all of you knew them as Lambert, Tello, and Ollier, they were some of my best crew. I'd served, I'd sailed with them for many years. And uh, I'm glad that it was only three of us that died in the attack today. But we all knew the risks when we signed aboard. Seas are a dangerous place. And there's only so much that uh, we can do. But thankfully, they uh, didn't manage to get anything important thanks to our group of bodyguards. Mm. So if any drinks go out tonight, let it be to them. And uh, for tonight, you're able to drink. The, uh, the grog stores are open. And he, uh, after, after that, he returns back to uh, his quarters. Unless any of you stop him. Nope. Definitely not. So let's toast, uh... Hmm. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and end it there for tonight. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. That's good timing. All right. Yep. So, uh, end of session. I did not fail a single roll. Me either. Yeah, today was a good I, week. I only failed once. I haven't failed in multiple sessions. It's a good deal. All right, so choose one of your bonds that you feel has been resolved, completely explored, no longer relevant or otherwise. Um. Not only do I not have any resolved, I still need to come up with one. Yeah, I still need to come up I'll with do, one too. I'll do that. I'll I'll, I'll do that tonight. Sometime. Okay. You guys can you guys can do that. Uh, Roy, VR, do you have any bonds you feel are resolved? The high Corex. Okay. And what is that? Uh, you're sounding a little. Yeah, I was gonna say you're sounding a little quiet. Yeah, uh, you're very quiet. I can barely. I can't. I only know you're talking. I can't really hear what you're saying. Could you? Uh, could you move a little closer to the mic? Sorry, is that better? Yes. Much better. Sorry about that. No, yeah. you're fine. My Christ will show me the true extent of adaptability of one who follows nature's path. Okay, and you feel that's resolved? Yeah, I've seen him adapt to a bunch of situations, so... Okay, uh, do you agree, Hycorax? Alright, cool, cool, cool. Moving on, uh... Rin... Uh, once, uh, not really. I mean, I could, but I could have solved the years, but no, didn't get the chance. Okay. So no. All right, and uh, High Corex, do you have any to resolve? Yeah, if you can get her for a few minutes away from Gallus. Actually, that could that could be an interesting three-way. 
conversation. Mm. I'm uh, glad you said conversation. Yeah, nice save. But that's what he. I don't get. I don't oh. get it. Oh. He said. He said that would be an interesting three-way conversation. Oh. He's fine with the, their thoughts. You got, your guys' minds are in the gutter. Of course. Hey, no worries. Uh, no worries, Hikarax. All right, that's cool. Moving on. Look at your alignment. If you filled your alignment at least once this session, go ahead and mark XP. Hmm. Well, we don't really have any opportunities to do things that were Good, uh, awful. How did the um, shark men feel about having uh, moisture sucked out of them? They were pissed. But not uh, particularly scared or anything? Not really. Damn. They still have the balls to come up and attack you. Sahagin are kind of creatures that don't really get afraid of much. Yeah. So no unfettered power magic. They, just don't, they don't know the concept of fox to you. So they can't give any. Right. All right. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and answer these three questions as a group. Did we uh, learn something new and important about the world? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, it's a sad one this time. People can die. We haven't learned that for a while, though. Well, we did share a lot of things we learned. We learned that the sea is pretty... The of the group. Yeah, that's... So maybe it counts. Yeah, the, we learned that the sea is pretty dangerous, even in the safe parts. Well, we learned that they're definitely, like, people. They can talk and stuff. That, too. They're just people with, like, drives to, you know, eat other things that can also talk. Yes. It's true. The thing did speak. Mm-hmm. Okay. So go ahead and mark XP for that. Did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? These were notable the first time we encountered them. It's true. So go ahead and mark XP for that. I think, yeah. They were... The build up was very good, so I think they're not all. Okay. <clears throat> Did we loot a memorable treasure? Not really. No. We actually lost memorable treasures. Nope. Who lost something? The crew did. Oh. Well, they are looted the magical potion. Well, they are. Deep. I lost something. What did you lose? He lost his innocence. That's right. <laughs> Deep. The first major injury I've taken, like, the whole time. Oh, yes, yeah. Fizz. We'll handle how that gets taken care of later. Okay. Because that will come into effect. Wait. But, uh, oh, dear. But uh, we've had a chance to... Um, We'll go ahead and handle, you know, any role-playing opportunities throughout the week. Uh, if you want to interact with an NPC in any way, let me know. Obviously, I can interact as any NPC. Um, otherwise, you know... Sad, sad one. It was, it was a sad end of I, the session. I, mm-hmm. I could suggest to anyone, maybe interact with Ayohan. Maybe he's a little out of the team as of now. He could get a little, I don't know... Screen time characterization going on. Okay. It's understandable. Well, I'm not exactly in the... I'm not exactly on the mood I hand right now. So, yeah. I mean... Well, Rin might not be, that's just, for sure. Yeah. But, I will uh, talk to him. Uh, it's a suggestion for everyone. Maybe Chief finds it easier to include him in that case. It is. It is what it'll be. Um, but otherwise, you know, just uh, send me the log afterwards. Let me know what's happening. All that good stuff. Um, but it was, uh, it was fun tonight. A little bit of role playing in. Got a little bit of combat in, and uh, yep. we got to see that uh, not always happy go lucky. Yep. Thank you for session. Hey, thank you guys for playing. We'll catch you all. Uh, we'll catch you all throughout the week. All right. Ciao, kids. Been fun. See you. Bye. Bye.